What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with uh, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Birds, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a weekly reading for uh, Sign of Virgo for 1115 in 2022 to 1122 in 2022. This could resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Also, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. First sign of Virgo. All right. I got some channelings as I was meditating on your inner weekly energy, Virgo. Holy crap. Hold on a second. Okay. We have um, octopus and tiger. Okay. So the channel messages I received was, I had to Google it. And we'll go over it in a second. One of them. I heard Rasputin is significant. So, of course, you only plug the message or messages in how they resonate. Free general click pretty. Okay? Just saying. Rasputin is significant. That's what I who I had to look up. Apparently, it's a person. Rasputin is significant for at least one of you guys. A prophetess is significant for one of you guys. And a hitman is significant for one of you guys. Yeah, there was three. So, Rasputin, and that is a person, and we'll go over this person in a second. I had no damn clue who this person was, and that's just the truth, but that is a person, and we'll go over them. So Rasputin is significant for one of you guys. You plug it in, how it resonates. I prophetess. So like a female Nostradamus, like me, somebody that predicts things. I prophetess. It could be anybody, but a female, because I heard prophetess is significant for one of you guys, and a hitman. So like a contract killer, like a damn murderer. Uh, is significant for one of you guys. Rasputin, a prophetess, and a hitman. That's an interesting combination. One could resonate, two or two plus could resonate, none could resonate. Rasputin, a prophetess, and a hitman. Way to kick it off there, Virgo. All right, so I looked up Rasputin because I that's when, obviously, we know what a hitman is. I would hope everybody knows what hitman is. And a prophetess, I think we all know what a prophetess is. I had no clue what a, uh, who Rasputin was, what Rasputin was. I had no clue. But it is a person. Just saying. All right. So we're going to do a little reading. So everybody knows who Rasputin is. Okay? Because I did not know. But I find it interesting with the channel, um, ch other channelings. The hitman and the prophetess. And you'll understand why in a second. Grigory Rasputin. Grigory y Yemenev. Rasputin, and he was Russian, by the way, was a Russian mystic and self-proclaimed holy man. Oh, let me, hold on. Well, it pulls it up and then it goes away. Hold on. He's a Russian mystic and self-proclaimed holy man who befriended the family of Nicholas II, the last emperor of Russia, thus gaining considerable influence in late imperial Russia. He died December 30th, 1916. He was 47 years old. He, was he befriended the Russian Empire. And he was Russian. Okay, so, and he was born into a peasant family, so he was born poor, born into a poor family, but he basically built up the ranks. He built himself up, very, very close with um, Russian royalty, basically. There was, um, I was reading in here before I clicked the camera on, he was, um, there was rumors that he slept with princesses and many people up in the royal court. Um, there was assassination attempts on him. He was proclaimed very famous when he lived for the person that could not be killed, basically. Um, he There was three assassination attempts, attempts on him. Two of them did not work. The third one killed him at 47. Okay. Um, he was attempted to be poisoned. And there was, I think there was another assassination um, attempt too. Hold on. Okay, the one that actually killed him, because there was three assassination attempts, 
The third one killed him. The two previous one was just a poisoning, like some sweet cakes or something, but it didn't work. The third one, they poisoned him, shot him, and drowned him. So, like, they were making sure he wasn't coming back. And, I mean, that's not funny, but damn. I'm just saying. One the one of the previous ones was a poisoning of sweet cakes. Well, that didn't work. He survived. So, number three, they poisoned him, shot him, and drowned him. I mean, like, no coming back. Like, damn. Just saying. During the murder of Grigori Rasputin on December 30th of 1916, his po killers poisoned him, shot him, and drowned him. But the mad monk simply refused to die. The death of Grigori Rasputin, a man who proved to be seemingly unkillable, is one of the most astounding stories in human history. He was a mystic and political advisor to the House of Romanov. He ha they uh, attempted to poison him, and one of the two previous poisonings was sweet, sweet pastries that were laced with cyanide. But he survived. That was one of the two previous. They, oh, in the final attempt, uh, death attempt, uh, death, like the death death, they crushed his te testicles. His testicles were crushed flat. I mean, wow. I'm just saying. Holy crap. Why was Rasputin so badass? From his crazy, out-of-control beard to his wild, hypnotic, maniac eyes, this mystical and mysterious holy man was notorious for his physical and mental strength, his political strangle stranglehold on the Russian imperial family, as in an, and his incredible ability to read people's weaknesses and manipulate them to carry out his evil doings. Holy Lord. Why was Rasputin a problem for Russia? Excuses were always made for his excessive and antisocial behavior. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So, a hitman, Rasputin, and a prophetess. Now, he was a prophet. He was a male prophet, a mystic, but he was, uh, he was a dark side um, prophet and mystic. He was a dark spiritualist, like a dark high priest. Um, he was. But I think one of you guys might be Russian, or you might somehow Rasputin is significant to you, or is about to be. Like I said, I didn't know who this guy was, but I looked him up for you guys. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. A prophetess, a hitman, and Rasputin. We've got octopus and tiger. For some, you could deal with a water sign or um, a fire sign. If you are, they could have um, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag. In their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no many of your charts. Virgo. Our previous Vir um, Virgo hitman is about to be in some deep shit with a family that paid him a lot of money to kill with them energy in the past. They're going to want their payment back very soon, and he's not going to have it. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Okay, Virgo. So, one, you're a Virgo masculine, and you were a paid contract killer hitman for a femme energy in the past, but I heard you never killed her. You didn't follow through. You didn't follow, fulfill the contract, murder for hire kind of shit. And I heard the family's pissed off. They're pissed off, and I heard soon they're going to demand all the money back. Basically, and it sounds like they paid you a shit ton. A lot of money. A lot of money. They paid you a shit ton of money to kill her, to offer, but you didn't do it. Um, But I heard you don't have the money. You don't have the money. Whoever you are, you're a masculine hitman Virgo. Confirmation on my phone. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard you don't have it. So I, I only you know how you spent this money, but I heard you don't have it. Many negative series of chain events are about to occur with this situation. A very pissed off fire sign. Many negative, masculine. Many negative series of chain events are about to occur with a pissed off fire sign masculine. Sounds like towards you, Virgo masculine. Hitman that didn't do the hitman work. Just saying. So, uh, 
prospective hitman? I mean, I mean, unless you kill people for. Uh, it's not something you put on a resume. I'm just saying. Yikes. But you've got a very pissed off fire sign masculine um, demanding some money back. I think this is him. Someone is behaving stupidly. Um, now, how you handle this guy, this pissed off fire sign masculine part of this family that basically paid you a shit ton of uh, money to kill a fem energy, how you handle him, I don't know. Um, this, I mean, I'm all about calling the police, but I don't know how you could call the police on somebody when they, you know, when part of the, part of the report is you took money as being a hitman in the past, but I don't know. However you handle the situation, Virgo Masculine, I mean, dear God, this is terrible. But I do feel for one of you guys, if you're the Virgo hitman that took all this money in the past and now you don't have it and you've got an angry fireside masculine and a family coming after your ass, Aries Leo side masculine, it sounds like he's about to come after you soon. How do you handle that, sir? Well, I mean, masculine energy. I don't really have respect for hitmen. Just saying. I just don't. Spirit messages here after five years. It is not going to go well for you or him. It is not going to go well for you or him. Uh, that's for you, Virgo masculine hitman. Uh, prospective hitman in the past. But you didn't kill her. You didn't offer her. I heard it's not going to go well for you or him. So I don't know. I, you plug it in how it resonates. It Y'all sound like a bunch of bad news bears. And I'm just being for real. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Dog, close up. Pleasure with the close friend. Re, sorrow over a lot. We have family on the bottom of the deck. Number 51 could be a very significant number. Um, I heard this Aries Leo Sag masculine that's going to be behaving stupidly. He's part of a family that basically hired you to kill this femme energy, but you didn't do it. So family energy, he's the Aries Leo Sag masculine. He's going to be pissed off in his fire sign energy in a negative sense coming towards your ass. But I heard it's not going to go well for either one of you guys. He could be a part... Well, I don't think he could be a part of your family, but I think he's a part of that angry family that hired you to contract killer this person. Spirit messages you have reflected like for San Virgo. Flexibility, number 48, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 48, could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 48, flexibility. Octopus. A sex swing is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. Oh my God, I just got done pulling that in in Pisces. I think for some of you might be dealing with Pisces. Now I'm just being for real. I mean, for real, for real. I just pulled that in in Pisces. Um, I think for one, you're dealing with Pisces. And I think in a sexual way, whether they're a partner or a um, paid person uh, for sex, or I didn't hear they were, or. Something to do sexually, or whether they're a partner or not, is what I'm saying. Um, I definitely think one of you, at least one of you guys, is in some kind of sexual connection, or you're about to be with Pisces. You can go back and check Pisces reading if you want. Pleasure with a close friend. Octopuses, octopi are very flexible. They're very flexible. Those stringy ass tentacles, they can move that octopus, octopi body. Very flexi flexibility wise. I think your Pisces can probably. Be very flexible, or you can. How that resonates and applies, Virgo. 
Closure with a close friend. I think it's Pisces. I didn't hear what sign it was, but I strongly feel for some of it's Pisces. If it's not, it could be any other sign. And there's about to be a lot of flexibility going on in the sex wing. Just saying, just saying. It's all over the place in the cards and the um, messages. An unexpected visit from a guardian ad litem is about to go very wrong and very left. It's about to create many negative series of chain of events for one Virgo. You are not expecting this visit, but it is about to happen. And it's about to come at the worst time. Okay, Lord. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to get an unexpected visit from uh, a guardian ad litem. And I heard it's going to come from at the worst time. And basically, it sounds like the visit's going to go left. And it doesn't sound like they're going to notify you. They are not going to notify. Okay, I heard they're not going to notify. They're not going to notify. They're just going to show up, Virgo. Um, and um, I think, for one, you might be having sex when it happens. And I'm just being for real. Maybe in a sex swing. For some others, it might be some other bad timing. But... Whatever in the world is going on when this guardian ad litem shows up, whether you're utilizing the sex wing or not, it's going to be a way the bad time and it's going to cause negative series of chain of events. Like the guardian ad litem is not going to be pleased with whatever they're seeing or experiencing or whatever, whatever, whatever. When uh, they show up, it sounds like to you, Virgo. Um, and it's going to create negative series of chain of events. Um, someone is going to be behaving stupidly, whether it's you or somebody else during this garden ad litem visit, I feel, and I feel you're going to need to be very flexible. It's about to create a downward spiral, spiral in a huge way regarding children. It's about to create a downward spiral in a huge way regarding children. It's about to create a downward spiral in a huge way regarding children. For one, it's one child. For one, it's one child. For one, it's two, two plus children. For one, it's children. For one, it's child. So it's at least two of you guys it's about to happen to. Um, downward spiral. So you plug it in how it resonates, Burrow. Whoa, this is yikes. But I think something bad's going to be going on when this guardian ad litem visits. There's at least two of you guys they are about to visit. Man or woman, guardian ad litem. I think for some, it might cause children to get taken away child or children get taken away because they have sorrow over loss i didn't hear it was going to but i heard it was going to cause many negative series of chain events i heard it's not going to go well for you whether it's one child or two or two plus children something bad is going on when they arrive someone will be behaving stupidly whether it's you or somebody you're connected to for some of you guys i think it's sex related because we have pleasure with a close friend for one of you guys it's incest related Oh, my God. For one, it's incest-related. And I think it's sad. Oh, my God. I might okay, we're moving on. This is gross. Oh. Once this guardian ad litem visits, they're going to get a huge ass wake up call. Huge. They're going to realize you're a huge ass liar. They're going to create many negative series of chain of events for you. You're very low vibrational Virgos. This resonates with. They're going to create many negative series of chain of events for you, and they're going to start creating positive series of chain of events for a fem energy of your past. They are about to realize you're a huge ass liar. Huge. And there's going to be many negative series of chain events created for Gemini Masculine. Know this. This, this guardian ad litem knows you're connected to a Gemini Masculine, and they are right. Oh, my God almighty, Virgo. There's at least two of you guys. One is involving one child. One is involving two or two plus children. So, 
I don't know what the hell is going on here. For some, I do feel it's sex related because of the cards and the messages. But for some, I think it's something else. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be um, something else. For one of you guys, it's incest. Um, that's gross. And that's Ill illegal. Just saying, just saying, illegal. Um, one is incest um, and one is sex related, I'm feeling, which would be the incest. Um, but for any anybody else, it could be um, drugs or alcohol, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. But I'm telling you right now, one is regarding one child, one is regarding two or two plus, but you're, you're connected to a Gemini masculine. This guardian ad litem is about to visit you. They haven't done it yet. They're about to. Whether you have one child this is relating to or two or two plus or one of you guys, there's incest here. Whether you were directly involved in this incest or indirectly, but you were, if this resonates for you, you were involved with Gemini masculine. And I heard basically when the guardian ad litem shows up and the visit goes so damn left, they're about to get a huge ass wake up call about you, this Gemini masculine that you were connected to. And I heard they know you're connected to them. You have been denying it. You have been denying it. I heard you've been denying it. You've been denying the connection with the uh, the Gemini masculine. But it sounds like once they get to the home or the place or wherever they're coming to visit you, they're going to realize you are connected with the Gemini masculine. And I heard it's going to go badly for you and the Gemini masculine. And it's going to create negative series of chain events for you and the Gemini masculine and positive series of chain events for a femme energy of your past. So who, because they're going to know you're lying. The guardian of my litem is going to know you're lying, Virgo. About uh, some about incest, some about something else, some about the Gemini masculine. You plug it in, how it resonates. Holy shit. I think you're going to need to be very flexible. But th th this guardian ad litem is not playing around. I didn't hear if it was a masculine or female guardian ad litem. This is yikes. Obviously, these are two low vibrational Virgo adults here. If you allow incest, you are low vibrational. I just want to make that clear. Um, you can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, heaven, and Jupiter charts, and you are around children, and it sounds like you sure as hell shouldn't be. And that's just the truth. Money that was illegally gotten through a court situation last fall of 2021 is about to have to be given back. Money that was gotten in a court situation in fall of 2021, I heard illegally through a, some kind of court situation of fall of 2021, so that was like a year ago, approximately. I'm feeling like September to November of 2021, so approximately a year ago, a little over. I heard it's going to have to be given back. Whether you acquired this money illegally through a court situation in fall of 2021 or somebody else did. But flexible as far as having to be given given it back um, with the flexibility and octopus. Um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. That could be that someone's behaving stupidly. They took money in a legal court situation in the past. They're about to have to give it back. You plug it in where you resonate there, Virgo. Sorrow over loss, the money that was acquired through an illegal court situation in the past. Tiger. A secret gay relationship, some with the Gemini masculine, some with the Scorpio masculine, is about to be exposed very publicly. You're a Virgo masculine. It is about to... Embarrass the hell out of you. You're secretly gay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, if this resonates for you, you're a Virgo masculine, but you're in the closet secretly gay, Virgo masculine, if this resonates in a closet for you. For some, it sounds like you're secretly gay with a Gemini masculine. For some, with a Scorpio masculine. For some, it could be both. But this is a Virgo masculine. If A low, a low vibrational one out. Feeling here. I mean, 
Because here's the way I look at it. If you're gay, you're gay. Why are you going to hide it? There's a reason you're hiding it if you're secretly gay is what I'm saying. So I definitely feel um, low vibrational vibes here because I'm all about people expressing their gayness and who they are. I'm not gay, but I don't discriminate people who are. But people that are secretly gay, there's reasons they are. And they're not good reasons. I'm just saying. Um, so there's a reason, whoever you are, you're secretly gay and you're not openly displaying you are is what I'm saying. I don't think it's for good reason. But for some, you're secretly gay, either currently or in the past with the Scorpio masculine. For some, currently or in the past with the Gemini masculine. For some, it could be both. But I, ha I heard these secretly gay relationships between you, probably low vibrational uh, Virgo masculine, is about to be very publicly exposed with these people. Um, a secret gay pedophile group is about to be exposed. Masons. A secretly gay pedophile group is about to be exposed. Masons. So I think you're a mason. If this resonates for you, secretly gay in the closet, Virgo masculine. And I think your little secretly gay pals are masons too. Whether they're a Gemini masculine or a Scorpio masculine or both. This shit is about to be blown wide open. Wide open. So many people are about to know so many. And it's about to embarrass the hell out of you. Very significant photos are about to come to the light of this and a particular video. To people you don't want it to go to. Oh my God Almighty. Oh, I'm pulling in a lot of low vibrational Virgo energy in here. Virgo masculine. Okay, so you, if this resonates for you, you're a low vibrational Virgo masculine. You're in you're, you're in a Mason group, Masonry group. But I think your buddy pals are too. You're um, secretly gay with you. Gemini masculine, Scorpio masculine. I think they're Masons too. You definitely are. I think they are too. But y'all are all secretly gay in the closet, but y'all sound like do it together or have done it together or what have you, what have you. And it sounds like you're definitely a Mason. I think they are too. But it's basically about to be blown out of hell. There's pictures, there's video, and they're about to, it's about to go fast. It's about to go fast. Or it's about to go fast and get to people you don't want it to get to. You're secretly gay, lover pals, and all this shit. Um, broke back mountain style. Broke, oh my God, broke back mountain style is what I heard. Broke back mountain style. So, you might doesn't know what that movie is. You can Google it. It's about secretly gay lovers. <laughs> and that's just the truth. <laughs> Um, that love to go fishing. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys likes to fish. Just saying, just saying. I don't know. I heard Brokeback Mountain, Mountain style, so I think you might be farmers or cowboys or wannabe cowboys or you like to fish or you like the countryside. You definitely like it in the booty. I'll tell you that. For sure, for sure. But I heard it's about to go very, um, very public very soon and very quickly. And there's some kind of significant photos and videos and that's about to go to people you don't want it to go to. It's about not to go well for you guys. Um, Masons. Um, you're definitely a Mason. I think these people are too. Oh, Lord. The secret gay group is about to blow open all over a city. The secretly gay group is about to blow all open all over a city. And it's about to benefit a femme energy of your past in a huge way. Okay, the secretly gay group of Masons, I'm presuming. You definitely are, Virgo Masculine. You're definitely a Mason. I think your buddy pals are too. You're secretly in the closet. Gay buddy pals are too. But I heard it's about the, the secretly gay group, probably all Masons here, is about to blow up all, all over the city. There's photos and videos, and it's about to go all over the place to people you don't want to go to in a city, city and eyes, urbanized area. And I heard it's going to benefit a feminine energy of your past, but it doesn't sound like it's going to go well for you. But... You've been hiding the shit, so just saying, just saying. Um, heard Brokeback Mountain style. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google's movie, man. I feel you guys like, I think you guys come across like macho people in the, um, I heard Brokeback Mountain style, so I think you come across like macho in the everyday 3D world, but you really like it in the butt. Like a bunch of macho people out to society, but you really like the booty. In the booty. 
And I'm just being for real. I don't like it in the booty, but you do. Just saying. If that resonates for you. Tiger. An Aries Leo Sag has already shocked the hell out of you, and they're about to shock the hell out of you again. This is a feminine energy of your past. An Aries Leo Sag fem energy. You have a strong fem energy. Your past have been pulling in here, and now this is a fire sign of fem your past. So fire sign fem your past. She's coming off of the tiger energy. Lots of desire, job, motivation. She might be confident. She might uh, go after what she wants. And the tiger energy. I feel confidence, desire, job, motivation, passion. Um, she's fire sign. She can have Aries Leo Sag and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hammer, Jupiter charts. But her, she's about to shock the hell out of you. Or, for one, she's already shocked the hell out of you. For one, she's about to. Um, that could be in a positive or negative way. And I feel for some of these fire signs, maybe she has Pisces in her chart. Because if you notice that moon on the tiger's forehead, on the third eye placement there, there's a moon. Moon is indicative of Piscean energy. So I think she might have Pisces in her chart. Or she's highly intuitive. Or she's a psychic medium or prophetess or something of that nature with the moon energy. Uh, I think she has Pisces in her one of her placements, or if she doesn't, she's just highly freaking intuitive, and she's maybe she's the prophetess energy from the beginning message. How that resonates in a pause. Maybe she's a prophetess, and she predicts things, and they come true, possibly. Or she's about to start predicting things, and they come true. Um, how that resonates in a pause. But she's, she's already shocked the hell out of you, and she's about to again. That can be in a good or bad way. For some, the Aries Leo side could be behaving stupidly, possibly, for some, if it's in a negative aspect. You have to plug the fire sign fem in, how they resonate, okay? For one, she's a prophetess. For one, she's a boss in a corporate conglomerate. For one, she's your neighbor. For one, she's a boss. For one, she's a, in a corporate conglomerate. For one, she's a prophetess. And for one, she's not your neighbor. So whether it's your neighbor about to sh uh, that's already shocked the hell out of you or is about to, a boss in a corporate conglomerate that's already shocked the hell out of you or is about to, or a prophetess that's already shocked the hell out of you or is about to. Fire sign fems, at least three of them. You have to plug them in how they resonate. Aries, Leo, Sag, fems. I strongly feel at least one has Pisces in their chart. I'm thinking a prophetess does for sure. Or they're just highly fucking intuitive. I mean, you've got the Piscean symbol up there, just saying, just saying. Or they're dealing with Pisces. Just saying, just saying. Or you are. But we've got your neighbor. A uh, boss in a corporate conglomerate could be your boss or somebody else's boss and a prophetess. About to shock the hell out of you, already has. But they're coming in the tiger energy, baby. Desire, drive, motivation, and confidence, I'm feeling. The boss in the corporate conglomerate is about to make some huge power play moves you are not going to expect. The boss in the corporate conglomerate is about to make some huge power play moves you're not going to expect. They are going to shock the hell out of you. Oh my God, I heard they're going to shock the hell out of you. I think you're going to need to be flexible there, Virgo. If you work in, I think for one, you work underneath this boss. And I didn't hear you did, just intuitively with my Piscean energy, because I have Pisces in my rising, my ascendant sign, the same, Sam, for me personally. I think for one, she is your boss. For one, she could be somebody else's boss. But I feel for one of you Virgos I'm pulling in, she is your boss. And I'm just being for real. Whoever you are, Virgo. And I'm just keeping it real. Hunter and on here. I think she's your, she's your boss in a corporate conglomerate. And she's about to make some huge ass changes. She's about to shock the hell out of you. She's in tiger energy, baby. She's about to go forward. And um, I think you're going to need to be flexible. And I think she's about to make some changes because there's been some crazy behavior in a corporate conglomerate. Um, or there's about to be. Somebody, I think somebody's already been behaving stupidly, or they're about to be. And that's why she's about to be in tiger energy, man. 
and I'm just being for real. Someone's about to get walking paper soon. It is about to shock the hell, hell out of you for when it is a Virgo. Oh my God. Very well deserved. There is evidence. There is no fighting it. Oh my God. Someone's about to get walking paper soon. I'm assuming it, I'm pulling in this Aries Leo Sag's boss in a corporate conglomerate very strong. I feel for one, it is your boss. For one, it could be somebody else's boss. But somebody's about to get walking papers. For one, it is not a Virgo. It's some other sign. For one, it is um, a Virgo, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. But I heard it's very well deserved. There's going to be no, there's some kind of evidence and there's no getting around it. So someone has already been behaving stupidly in a corporate conglomerate or they're about to be. Um, for some, it could be like public display of affection or workplace affair with a pleasure with a close friend. Possibly. I didn't hear it was, but connecting the dots and the messages and the card, I feel for one it might be. But for one, it is a Virgo. Um, when it's not, um, so you have to gonna have to plug yourself in where it fits. It hasn't happened yet. But I think um she's about to make some power play moves. I think she's about to fire somebody. Um, it could be other power play moves too, but definitely somebody's about to get the walking papers, whether she hands them to somebody or somebody else does. And it's something well-deserved with some evidence. Whether it's a Virgo, there's two people about to get terminated here. Whether it's a Virgo or some another sign. I think for some, you're about to see this manifest in 3D. Is it Aries Leo side boss, whether it's your corporate, corporate conglomerate boss or somebody else's? Oh, man. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Someone is about to videotape someone having sex in a facility on work time. It is about to blow up in a, into a huge thing. You didn't think it was going to. They will have it on their phone in a video file. Oh my God. I told you guys I was suspecting workplace affair. And that would make sense with pleasure with a close friend. Someone's behaving stupidly. Sorrow over loss. I think one of these people is about to get fired with the walking papers. I'm just being for real. One is Virgo. One is another sign. But, okay, so whether it's you about to catch this person, Virgo, or people, well, it's at least two people having sex. I heard they're about to be caught. They haven't been caught yet. They're about to be having caught. They're about to be caught having sex in a um, facility on company time, basically. So they're about to be knocking the boot somewhere in this facility, but they will be clocked in. I don't know if it's a broom closet, an extra room, a patient room. I mean, I didn't hear it was a hospital setting or medical conglomerate, but I'm just giving examples from my past experience. Somewhere in a facility, a corporate conglomerate. It could be Walmart for all we know. I didn't hear what corporate conglomerate, but it's some kind of corporate conglomerate and two people are about to be caught having sex. In a corporate conglomerate, on company time, already swiped in, parted in. Being paid for having sex on the job, basically. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Somebody's about to catch these people. For some, I feel it might be you about to catch these people. For some, you might be the one about to be caught having sex. Only you know if you do those kind of things or not. But somebody's about to be caught having sex. I heard whoever's about to catch them is going to videotape it on their phone, and they're going to save it in a video file. It's going to create a series of chain of events. Somebody's going to get fired over this. Someone behaving stupidly, having sex on company. Um, Both will be fired. Both will be fired. I heard both will be fired. They both will be fired. So whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, both of them are going to be fired. But I feel for one, you're going to record this shit on your phone. I'm just being for real. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Kind of happened yet. But somebody's about to get caught. Um, but I heard they both will be fired. It hasn't happened yet. Behaving stupidly, having sex on company time. Pleasure with a close friend, having sex in this on company time in the facility. I'm feeling like a broom closet or an extra room or a dark hide space or something. I don't know. Saw over loss, about to get the walking papers. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. And I feel for some, it's going to be an Aries Leo Sag Femme boss about to hand, hand their ass to them. But whoever is about to catch them is about to be smart and catch this shit on a video file. 
And I think they have an Aries Leo Sag boss. So this is workplace affair. Oh my gosh. Read so over loss. That's walking papers for the two workplace affair people. A lost item is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. A lost item is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. So one of you guys is about to lose an item. Or I heard a lost item. So I feel for some you're going to lose the item. Or somebody else loses the item. Maybe you help find it. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. So whether you were the one about to lose the item, Virgo, or somebody you're connected to and you're going to help them find it, some kind of lost item, sorrow for loss, it's a lost item. For one, you're a Virgo reader, very popular Virgo reader. Dark spiritualist. A cancer reader, light side spiritualist, is about to file a lawsuit on you. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one, they are an ex-lover. For one, they're not. Oh, my God. Okay, so for one, you're a dark side spiritualist. Virgo, dark side spiritualist. Um. Uh, Virgo Femme, Virgo Femme, you're a Virgo Femme, dark side spiritualist, popular online social media platform person. It sounds like you're about to at least have two people come after you with the lawsuit. You plug it in how it resonates. We got one, can they're both, it sounds like both life side cancer femme, popular online social media platform readers too. Um, one used to be an ex-lover of yours, so pleasure with a close friend, ex-lover, ex-lover, for one. For one, they've never been your lover, it sounds like. But they're about to file lawsuits on you. Y'all are all three popular social media online platform tarot readers. Heavy cancer and energy. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midhaven, and Jupiter charts. But if this resonates with you, you're a dark side, Virgo, light side, um, dark side spiritualist. But one is an ex-lover of yours and one is not. And they're both light side. They're about to file law lawsuits against you. Uh, Virgo, femme, online popular, dark side spiritualist. A Virgo is about to get surprise contact from a family member you never knew you had. A Virgo is about to get surprise contact from a family member you never knew you had, is what I just heard. So you plug in how it resonates. One of you guys has a family member you never knew you had. You're about to get surprise contact from them, Virgo, whoever you are and how that resonates and applies. I feel you can be masculine or feminine. Um, but somebody was behaving stupidly in the past and they did not notify you that you had a damn family member that you never even knew you had. But you're about to get surprise contact from them. Um, whoever you are, Virgo, and how that resonates, okay? Flexibility. You are a Virgo dark side spiritualist and a Libra dark side spiritualist is about to come at you in a huge way, ne negative way. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You were once very positively connected with this person, but they are about to come with fury, huge ass fury. You're not going to know what to do. This person might end up filing a lawsuit on you. They're going to be very emotionally unstable. 
beware. Oh my God, I heard the enemy. Very emotionally unstable, beware. So you're both dark side spiritualist, heavy dark side spiritualist energy in here. My God. So you're a Virgo femme, dark side spiritualist. It's a Libra femme, dark side spiritualist. She, you guys know each other from the past. You used to be positively connected in some shape, form, or fashion. But now it's about, she's about to come back to you. So reconciliation or possible reconciliation, but in a negative sense. And I heard basically it's not, she's going to be emotionally unstable. So someone is behaving stupidly. I think it's going to be her emotional instability coming back to you. She hasn't done it yet. But I heard y'all used to be very positively connected, but it sounds like the reconciliation or, posit or possible reconciliation is going to be very negative. I heard she might end up filing a lawsuit on you. Uh, this is not going to go well. I heard you're not going to, you're going to be shot. You're not going to know what to do, Virgo, femme, dark side, spiritualist. Um, it sounds like it's going to be shocking to you, but um, but she's going to come in very emotionally unstable. I heard she probably will file a lawsuit on you, too. Um, if you're the same one of these cancers, I'm just saying, but she's definitely going to come in very emotionally unstable. I feel the turkey energy here. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. You're both dark side spiritualists, fems. You're a Virgo fem, and it's a Libra fem about to come towards you, Virgo fem. If that resonates for you, think you're going to need to be very flexible with her. I heard you're going to be shocked. Maybe she lost something or someone or you did. There's a reason she's about to come back to you. So I think maybe she's lost someone or lost something. How if that resonates and applies, Virgo? The FBI is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. Some, you're going to contact them. For some, they're, you're going to be contacted by them. For one, you'll be watched by them. You're not going to like it. Oh, my God Almighty. FBI energy, Federal Bureau of Investigations energy. I feel United States energy. I heard FBI. One, you're going to contact the FBI, Virgo. So, I feel you can be masculine in Virgo. I feel your life side. You're about to contact the FBI. Because somebody is behaving stupidly, or was, how that resonates and applies, Virgo, the one about to contact the FBI, I feel your light side. For the other ones, you guys, I don't feel your light side, because one of you guys, you're about to start being watched by the FBI, or you already are being watched by the FBI, and for one, you're about to be contacted by the FBI, but I heard it, you're not going to like it. So I don't think it's going to go well between you and the FBI when you get contacted by the FBI. I think you're both on low vibrational here. But for one, you're high vibrational. You're about to contact the FBI because someone has been behaving stupidly or they're about to be. How that resonates and applies. Daggum. A Virgo feminine that works in a hospital is about to lose her job soon. Huge medication error. Huge. Injury. Patient injury. Oh, my God Almighty. Whoa. A Virgo femme um, is about to lose LPN. LPN. A Virgo feminine LPN. So, if this resonates for you, you're a Virgo femme LPN. So, licensed practical nurse. There's LPNs, LVNs, RNs, CRNPs. You're LPN. Licensed practical nurse. Um, and you're a Virgo femme. I heard you're about to lose your job. Huge medication error and patient injury. And those are all huge ass things. Uh I, I mean, I hate that for whoever's about to lose your job, but in all fairness, patient injury and a huge med error is very significant reasons to be losing your job, and that's just damn true. I mean, you might not like it that I say that, but it's damn true. I've lost my jobs over stupid-ass reasons, and it wasn't a huge med error or patient in injury, I'll tell you that right now, and I'm an RN, just saying. All right, love you guys. Everybody have a good day, and I'm going to say.